We're finally getting a new Super Mario Bros. game, and who doesn't love 2D Mario? This is definitely an interesting choice, as when the series first came out, it was loved. But I remember a couple years back, people were starting to get sick of the new Super Mario Bros. franchise. It kind of just started to feel stale. It didn't used to feel that way, though. As a kid, I remember getting so excited to play new Super Mario Bros. DS and having fun with new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Fast forwarding to new Super Mario Bros. 3DS, it was almost like I didn't care it existed. I did get to play a bit of the 3DS one, but I put it down super quick because they just started feeling the same, and I didn't even have the urge to go buy a Wii U just to try the Wii U version. Sure, there were some changes, like the addition of multiple playable characters in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and all that gold collecting in New Super Mario Bros. 2, but how much different did they really feel from each other? People wanted to see new innovations with this series, and based on the official gameplay trailer for Super Mario Bros. Wonder, it seems like big changes are on the way. Firstly, the new art style in Super Mario Bros. Wonder is an interesting one. I wouldn't be surprised if the story mode of the game is Mario accidentally taking the wrong type of mushroom and falling asleep and dreaming the whole thing. Jokes aside, it looks very expressive and fresh. The animations have so much more character and detail, and they really do help this game stand out visually from the other ones in the past. I could definitely see people feeling like the old style was better, and maybe the new style throws off the feeling of the game, and maybe the feeling of the game isn't as good as the old ones, but I'd have to disagree with that statement. Personally, the old style seemed kind of boring after a while, playing through the series, since it was the same style over and over again. And while the new art style reminds me a bit of the old style, I think it's different enough to stand out while still having the feel of the older games. This new style to me is symbolic of the fact that they're willing to put in the work to make changes that a lot of people actually wanted to see, instead of just pushing out basically the same game again and again. Another thing that stood out to me was the gameplay itself. It really does seem trippy with Mario going into this portal and all of a sudden the entire world just starts moving with the pipes going up and down and even one of them moving around like a caterpillar. These big purple balls and it also looks like Mario is turning into this red ball thing and the red ball thing is wearing Mario's hat. It reminds me a little bit of Cappy, so maybe we'll be able to take control of things in that regard. But I feel like if we were able to do it, for sure it would have been advertised. So it probably is just part of the trippy portal thing that Mario went into. I liked how the flowers are just yelling at Mario in this game. And this cool clip where we're basically like shadows. There's a lot I find interesting in this game from a first glance. And it feels like the world is more interactive than ever before. For example, here we see this Goomba just falling asleep rather than just walking in a line waiting for you to jump on it. I think they could expand on that a lot more and maybe include more enemies that specifically target and try to attack you, although we do have some of those in the trailer. A lot of the challenge in these games comes from the platforming, but it would be nice to maybe see the ability to toggle difficulties in the settings, and maybe with higher difficulties we get more enemies like those I mentioned earlier. I hope that for our boss fights we get something creative and unique instead of just the Koopa Links showing up and you figure out their predictable pattern and jump on them three times. Boss fights should be innovative and grand, and they should pull you into the game, so for once you beat one, you're looking forward to the next one. I'd love to see new bad guys just made just for this game, or maybe the bad guys' appearances and abilities can or should be boosted by the hallucinogenic portal. I think this is Bowser Jr. with some boosted abilities based on what we see here. Uh, that's a good sign, I hope. I'd also love to see new and creative maps, which I think at least partially we will be getting based on the trailer. I also hope that they balance the multiplayer mode properly so it's not super easy when playing with multiple people. I do think that they have some extra potential for creativity since we have a decent amount of characters included like the newly added Daisy. I'd love to see each character have a certain differences about them. Whether it's someone being slightly slower or jumping higher or more maybe character exclusive power ups. It would definitely would be interesting and encourage people to go back and replay the game with different characters. One creative thing that we will be getting is the elephant power-up. That's right, just when you thought it couldn't get any more weird, Mario will be turning into an actual elephant. I'm curious to see the specific abilities of this power-up, and I'm curious if we will get any other animal-themed power-ups like with other abilities. It's definitely an interesting choice if they choose to keep the animal theme going, because they can bring back the raccoon slash flying squirrel suit, the bee suit, the penguin suit, the cat suit, and whatever other animal suit that they've introduced that I'm forgetting about. Although, I think it would be more interesting to keep it big and imposing animals with the occasional smaller animal. I'd love to see like a lion Mario, or an alligator Mario, or just really any other scary beast. So, what do you guys think about the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder? Are you excited for it? Is it not interesting to you at all? 
please let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you for listening to An Idiot Rant. Please consider subscribing to support the channel. Also, if you have time, I usually live stream on weekends or weekdays around 8.30 p.m. Pacific time and weekends whenever I wake up and pull myself together. The schedule can sometimes change based on if I'm working on a video like this one, as it does take some time to put together. Also, consider these videos if you like my work, and thank you for your time. Plot Armor Games, out.